The federal and river state governments are locked in a battle over the value-added tax paid by Nigerians. The judiciary has twice ruled in favor of river state and other states, but the Federal Inland Revenue Services says it will appeal. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obioko speaks to a financial analyst. Let's take a listen. Since its introduction in 1993, the value-added tax and VAT for short has continued to be one of the most stable and highest yielding sources of tax revenues for the Nigerian federal government. VAT collections rose 57 percent in the second quarter of 2021 to 512 billion from 327 billion in the corresponding period of 2020. It has always served as relief to cash trapped states who pocket half of VAT collections until recently. The recent Federal High Court ruling enabling states and not the federal government to collect VAT and personal income tax has unsettled Abuja. A financial analyst, Shegu Shele, believes the court's ruling is a welcome development. which will help this country to actually do what is right at least for the first time in a very long time. You know, the bulk of the revenue is very earned with a particular location. Let them be the ones enjoying the benefits of it. Now, the time this country decided to put the, re the derivation, the principle of derivation in, 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 in the revenue allocation, and then states that are oil producing get a higher proportion by reason of the derivation. So why is the same principle not applying to VAT? River State has already enacted a value-added tax law. Many people are of the opinion that this could spell doom for low-income generating states, especially if the Federal Inland Revenue Service loses its next appeal. Shelley disagrees. This necessity is the model of invention. They will probably sit down and look at how best they can also use what is within their locality, what is within their domain, to better their law. But in the long run, because they start down without really doing much, and just expecting contributions from the federal post to come to them. I use that to develop their state. I don't really allow them to have their thinking cap on and look at the greater potential that they also have at their domain to be able to grow their, 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 their locality. Lagos State, which generates more than half of Nigerians' value-added tax, is also planning to start collecting VAT against the FIRS wish. Unlike River State that has passed a bill signed into law by Governor Nelson Wiki, Lagos is yet to give formal legal backing to VAT collection. But a bill that will make that work just past first and second readings at the House of Assembly. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV Africa. El Salvador on Tuesday became the first country to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. It had suffered teething problems when the government had to unplug a digital wallet to cope with demand. President Nayib Bukele pushed for adoption of the cryptocurrency. He called for help from users who had already downloaded the government-backed app to test if it was now working properly. However, the Paris may struggle to access the technology needed to make Bitcoin work in El Salvador. Nearly half the population have no internet and many more only have sporadic access. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.